scenes and video from the week, Jen. We saw this is Weather Center Live in the lab. I'm meteorologist Chris Moore. And I'm meteorologist Jen Carfagna. Love that puppy coming out in the snow. Right. So cute. It's so fun to see all the kids and the animals for the yep. first time seeing the snow. This is Friday. It's November 6th. And here with us, we have Adam Dean. Getting excited about yeah, a, little the bit sun. Of, a little bit of sun. That's a little bit of sun. That's the shape we are in these days. <laughs> That's, That's right. right. <laughs> Meanwhile, people. Let's. Uh, Adam's looking it up. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at the radar, though, and I'll show you that the front is not through yet. You know, Dallas, the front is on its way through. We got to wait for it to come through to clear out, but then we will. They're home. Um, they're home. They're home. They're home. All right. So the Grove is going to be a little bit soggy. That's what I wanted to say. The, the boots. <laughs> it's not the cowboy boots for the ladies. It's going to be the rain boots yes. for the ladies. Yeah, your L.B. wet rain boots. Keep your feet nice and warm yep. and dry. Rain out there uh, through the Ohio Valley. Pretty windy up around the Great Lakes, which we'll talk about in a minute. But I want to take you back in. South of Memphis is where we have the showers. Again, around Oxford, Mississippi. Jackson getting some showers. You know, Birmingham, not a big deal, but little sprinkles out there that are keeping your day wet. Shreveport, we've got some rain. And then, again, it's all south of Dallas. We will get a break Dallas. The front is through, kind of getting hung up though throughout the rest of the south and east. So how does it time out for the rest of today? Not much sunshine. Um, let's talk about the southeast forecast. It's not just Atlanta. I know in Greenville and Spartanburg and Charlotte, um, Augusta, everyone is so sick of the clouds. They're going to be around again today. We're going to see the showers and storms as our front tracks east as well. So Nashville, get ready. It's been a warm couple of days. Still warm, but thunderstorms coming in. New Orleans, Memphis, we're also going to see possible thunderstorms today. Then we look at tomorrow's forecast. This front is so slow moving and so we see it move into the rest of the southeast now from Virginia to North and South Carolina Atlanta more rain back into the picture um, you can hope for a break in the clouds but you certainly can't hope for a dry day or a completely <laughs> sunny day either Chris. Bias. I know you know and we might might have been complaining about the clouds and how humid and dreary and just sort of yucky it's been outside um, but you are going to see a big temperature change so let's show you this flip-flop that's going on um, by Sunday you'll notice some changes coming in much cooler coming in behind the front um, but then we're gonna warm back up again too. So here we go. Um, Sunday 71 in Atlanta, but 61 in Memphis. You'll watch that cooler air move in. Uh, is this not changing? Uh, All right. Yeah, it's messed. I, I'll fix it. All right. Anyway, yeah, um, this is this is now Sunday. 57. Monday. This is Monday. Monday. We went Saturday, Sunday. So Monday. Just All right. Disregard. This is totally a Friday disregard show, isn't what it? Jen just said. 57 <laughs> degrees by the time. Anyway, you see the trend. It does warm up by the end of next week. We'll talk more about that and talk more about the severe weather that we've been dealing with. Thank you out to uh, some of the warmth that we're talking about. Weather wise, temperature wise, air temperature wise, it's been very warm. In Virginia Beach, um, you might be thinking about, you know, going out to the beach because temperatures are starting off in the 70s and going up to the upper 70s today. We've got some warm times out there. Boston already 68 degrees. I mean, this is a warm start to the day and we're going to finish it at record levels in a number of spots. Warm air advection going on that's helping warm up our temperatures more than anything. Big ridge of high pressure out here. So we'll see temperatures running well above average, but not only is the temperature up, the dew point is up. And so you feel it. You, you feel sort of that humanness out there. Um, the mugginess temperature in New York City, 73 degrees, 70 in Boston as we look at the highs. More than 15 degrees above average. This will set records for some of you. Hartford, Connecticut, a good chance of that. We're forecasting 71. The record to beat is 73, so we're so close. We're so close to New York City. We should tie in D.C. at 78 degrees, and Roanoke, Virginia will come within a degree. Looking at a high today of 78, the old record 79 set back in 2005, Chris. All right, so let's keep it in the Northeast right now as we go. In